Here's the 1966 Valiant, the car that really lets you live within your budget. And the smart one for looks, for comfort, and for performance in the economy field. Plymouth Valiant is a fine, basic automobile. A car for the most economical budget. And at the same time, a car you can dress up with all the personalized luxury items you could possibly want. Let's take a good look at this 66 Plymouth Valiant and see how it gets that way. First, and quite important, Plymouth Valiant is the only car in its class backed by a five-year, 50,000-mile engine and drivetrain warranty, evidence of its fine car quality and craftsmanship. Valiant's Standard 6 is a 170 cubic inch, 101 horsepower engine that gives economy mileage on regular gas. The optional Super 225-6 gives 145 horsepower. The standard 273 cubic inch V8 turns up 180 horsepower. The optional Commando 273 V8 with a four-barrel carburetor develops 235 horsepower. You can have Plymouth's famous torque flight transmission with the shift lever mounted on the console in the bucket seat models or on the steering column in the others. A push button in the top of the lever keeps you from setting the car in gear by accident. This, of course, is the famous transmission that has helped keep all Plymouth cars ahead of competition in both economy and performance. Torque Flight has been on a Plymouth class winner in the mobile gas economy run for nine straight years. Valiant is also a comfortable car. Comfortable around turns, over bumps, on turnpikes, starting and stopping, because of torsion air. Here you see high chrome steel torsion bar front springs, a feature shared by all Plymouths. They work in unison with widely spaced leaf springs in the rear. They form a broad platform that evens out all the rough spots on the way and gives better control on turns. Other basic Plymouth features are found in the Valiant, like the sturdy safety and stability of its unibody construction. Unibody is built to keep passengers safe by surrounding them with box section bridge type girders. This construction makes the body more rigid too and it stays solid and tight. It's built to fight corrosion because the body is dipped and sprayed in a seven step anti-rust procedure. It's built to shine and keep on shining because the body is topped off with acrylic enamel paint, highly resistant to chipping and fading. It can be buffed to a high-gloss, mirror-like finish. It's not only more attractive, but also a harder, more durable finish. It makes Valiant shine. Outside, up front, you notice the styling freshness of the 1966 Plymouth Valiant right away. In the new grill treatment, where the headlights are surrounded by bright aluminum panels. See how these new deep-skirted bumpers sweep down to protect the underbody surface while at the same time adding an extra note of heft and stability. Parking lights and turn signal lights are protected because they're recessed into the face of the front bumper itself. In the rear, the attractive vertical treatment of the lights and the squared off look of the bumper adds smartness and character. Here's a new styling note for 1966 that will appeal to a lot of buyers. The sharper, crisper, cleaner line of the new sedan and hardtop roofs combines with a lowered deck lid to give a new slim look to the silhouette. The sweeping line of the full-length aluminum body side molding, like a band of silver, is one of the identifying marks of the Valiant 200, along with the nameplate in script at the rear. Inside, this new instrument panel carries out the squared-off look of the 1966 Valiants, with a sharp rectangular treatment of both the panel and the gauges. The driver has a clear, readable view of these instruments through the upper half of this two-bar steering wheel. This is the new Valiant console that is optional on Signet models. Its full length this year adds beauty and richness to the interior appearance of the car and provides a roomy storage compartment that opens from the side and is easy to get at. These form-fitting, smart-looking bucket seats are optional on the Signet. 
Bench seats with two distinctive trim styles are standard on all Valiant models for 1966. Valiant station wagons incorporate every feature of economy, engineering, and manufacturing excellence. Driving and riding comfort, beauty and styling character that characterize Plymouth for 1966. Plus the big capacity cargo space that encourages you to haul loads you might not think possible. Even with the tailgate closed, you've got just a shade under seven full feet of cargo length. And with it open, there's more. Actually, this feature-packed wagon will haul more than 68 cubic feet of freight. And that's a lot of hauling in any man's league. Throughout the Valiant line, the economy theme is highlighted by such items as the long 36,000-mile lubrication interval, an increase of 4,000 miles, and an oil change interval of 4,000 miles. Low initial price, plus operating mileage economies, spell Valiant. Yes, Valiant is the tried and proved economy car of the entire Plymouth family. A basic automobile to fit the budget needs of the budget-minded buyer. Yet you can dress up your Valiant and personalize it with options like the 273 cubic inch 4 barrel 235 horsepower V8 that make it a very sporty automobile indeed. You can add a special suspension package, special shocks, wheels and tires, special fast ratio steering, you can have disc brakes and custom tailor yourself a Valiant sports package that really sings. Of course, the one most luxurious of all low-priced automobiles and the hot performer in the economy field is Plymouth Barracuda, the rally-storming, scene-stealing fastback. Barracuda demonstrates how you can have economy and a luxury and performance package at the same time, all in one automobile. And under Barracuda's fastback roofline, there's seven full feet plus of load space for skis or fishing and hunting gear or for hauling the kids. Barracuda's fresh, sparkling new styling for 1966 is reflected in this new medallion that identifies and sets off the Barracuda front and rear. Up front, it's set amidships centered in the bold new grille with its bright chrome panels marked by restyled headlights and the deep-skirted new bumpers that give both style and protection. Turn signal indicators on Barracuda are mounted outside on the fenders, directly in line of sight as you make your turn. From the side, your eye is struck by a long, sweeping, full-length, fine-line color stripe that accentuates the sporty contour lines of the Barracuda. A broad center racing stripe on the hood is optional. Optional wheel covers emphasize the sports car look of Barracuda 66. These new form-fitting, smart-looking bucket seats are standard. The new console is optional. The driver's view of his instruments shows clearly and instantly what he wants and needs to know. Barracuda's big round dials include a vacuum gauge or an optional tachometer as desired. The optional four on the floor for V8 models is a heavy-duty, fully synchronized gearbox with a new shift lever mounted in the console. This is for the performance buffs who like to combine sports car type driving with their economy. Improvements in the shift mechanism this year make it impossible to shift into reverse accidentally. You have to pull up on this handle before you can get it into reverse. Barracuda with the special Formula S package is a classic high-performance road racing sports vehicle. The Formula S package gives you the Commando 273 V8 and a 150 mile an hour speedometer in place of the regular 120, along with a special suspension package, special shocks, tachometer, special wheels and tires, and wheel covers. Membership in the new Barracuda Owners Club offers an opportunity to take part in the sports car type activities it sponsors. Performance, style, and class. That's Barracuda. Distinction with economy. That's Valiant. Two outstanding Plymouths for 1966. Let yourself go Plymouth.